Psalm 6, Common English Bible Please, Lord, don't punish me when you are angry. Don't discipline me when you are furious. Have mercy on me, Lord, because I am frail. Heal me, Lord, because my bones are shaking in terror. My whole body is completely terrified. But you, Lord, how long will this last? Come back to me, Lord. Deliver me. Save me for the sake of your faithful love. No one is going to praise you when they are dead. Who will give thanks from the grave? I'm worn out from groaning. Every night I drench my bed with tears. I soak my couch all the way through. My vision fails because of my grief. It's weak because of all my distress. Get away from me, all you evildoers, because the Lord has heard me crying. The Lord has listened to my request. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and completely terrified. They'll be defeated and ashamed instantly. Psalm 7, Common English Bible I take refuge in you, Lord my God. Save me from all who chase me. Rescue me, otherwise they will rip me apart, dragging me off with no chance of rescue. Lord my God, if I have done this, if my hands have done anything wrong, if I have repaid a friend with evil, or oppressed a foe for no reason, then let my enemy not only chase me, but catch me, trampling my life into the ground, laying my reputation in the dirt. Selah. Get up, Lord, get angry, stand up against the fury of my foes. Wake up, my God, you command that justice be done. Let the assembled people surround you. Rule them from on high. The Lord will judge the peoples. Establish justice for me, Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity. Please let the evil of the wicked be over, but set the righteous firmly in place, because you, the righteous God, are the one who examines hearts and minds. God is my shield. He saves those whose heart is right. God is a righteous judge, a God who is angry at evil every single day. If someone doesn't change their ways, God will sharpen his sword, will bend his bow, will string an arrow. God has deadly weapons in store for those who won't change. He gets his flaming arrows ready. But look how the wicked hatch evil, conceive trouble, give birth to lies. They make a pit, dig it all out, and then fall right into the hole that they've made. The trouble they cause will come back on their own heads. The violence they commit will come down on their own skulls. But I will thank the Lord for his righteousness. I will sing praises to the name of the Lord Most High.
Psalm 8 Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. You made your glory higher than heaven. From the mouths of nursing babies you have laid a strong foundation because of your foes in order to stop vengeful enemies. When I look up at your skies, at what your fingers made, the moon and the stars that you set firmly in place, what are human beings that you think about them? What are human beings that you pay attention to them? You've made them only slightly less than divine, crowning them with glory and grandeur. You've let them rule over your handiwork, putting everything under their feet. All sheep and all cattle, the wild animals too, the birds in the sky, the fish of the ocean, everything that travels the pathways of the sea. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the earth. Psalm 9, a Psalm of David. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. I will talk about all your wonderful acts. I will celebrate and rejoice in you. I will sing praises to your name, Most High. When my enemies turn and retreat, they fall down and die right in front of you because you've established justice for me and my claim because you rule from the throne establishing justice rightly you've denounced the nations destroyed the wicked you've erased their names for all time every enemy is wiped out like something ruined forever you've torn down their cities even the memory of them is dead but the Lord rules forever. He assumes his throne for the sake of justice. He will establish justice in the world rightly. He will judge all people fairly. The Lord is a safe place for the oppressed, a safe place in difficult times. Those who know your name trust you because you have not abandoned any who seek you, Lord. Sing praises to the Lord, who lives in Zion. Proclaim his mighty acts among all people. Because the one who avenges bloodshed remembers those who suffer. The Lord hasn't forgotten their cries for help. Have mercy on me, Lord. Just look how I suffer because of those who hate me. But you are the one who brings me back from the very gates of death, so I can declare all your praises, so I can rejoice in your salvation in the gates of daughter Zion. The nations have fallen into the hole they themselves made. Their feet are caught in the very net they themselves hid. The Lord is famous for the justice he has done. It's his own doing that the wicked are trapped. Selah. Let the wicked go straight to the grave. The same for every nation that forgets God. Because the poor won't be forgotten forever, the hope of those who suffer won't be lost for all time. Get up, Lord. Don't let people prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. 
Strike them with fear, Lord. Let the nations know they are only human. Selah. Psalm 10 Why do you stand so far away, Lord, hiding yourself in troubling times? Meanwhile, the wicked are proudly in hot pursuit of those who suffer. Let them get caught in the very same schemes they've thought up. The wicked brag about their body's cravings. The greedy reject the Lord, cursing. At the peak of their wrath, the wicked don't seek God. There's no God, that's what they're always thinking. Their ways are always twisted. Your rules are too lofty for them. They snort at all their foes. They think to themselves, we'll never stumble. We'll never encounter any resistance. Their mouths are filled with curses, dishonesty, violence. Under their tongues lie troublemaking and wrongdoing. They wait in a place perfect for ambush. From their hiding places they kill innocent people. Their eyes spot those who are helpless. They lie in ambush in secret places, like a lion in its lair. They lie in ambush so they can seize those who suffer. They seize the poor, all right dragging them off in their nets. Their helpless victims are crushed. They collapse, falling prey to the strength of the wicked. The wicked think to themselves, God has forgotten. God has hidden his face. God never sees anything. Get up, Lord. Get your fist ready, God. Don't forget the ones who suffer. Why do the wicked reject God? Why do they think to themselves that you won't find out? But you do see. You do see troublemaking and grief. And you do something about it. The helpless leave it all to you. You are the orphan's helper. Break the arms of those who are wicked and evil. Seek out their wickedness until there's no more to find. The Lord rules forever and always. The nations will vanish from his land. Lord, you listen to the desires of those who suffer. You steady their hearts. You listen closely to them to establish justice for the orphan and the oppressed so that the people of the land will never again be terrified. 